Episode Three: Peter Meets Wendy. The next week, Mr. and Mrs. Darling planned to go out one night with their friends. Everyone was unhappy. The children didn't want to go to bed. When Nana ran across the room, she went past Mr. Darling. She touched his legs by accident and put hair on his best trousers. Mr. Darling was angry with Nana, and he tied her up in the garden to sleep. As soon as Mr. and Mrs. Darling left, Peter flew through the window into the children's room. The little light was with him again. When it stopped flying round the room, you could see that it was not a light. It was a tiny fairy, and her name was Tinkerbell. She was very pretty, and her voice was like tiny bells. Peter and Tinkerbell started to search everywhere in the children's room for the shadow. At last, they found it in a drawer, and Peter tried to stick it on again with some soap. It didn't work, of course. And Peter started to cry. <laughs> Wendy woke up and saw Peter crying. She was very surprised. Why are you crying? She asked. Peter stopped crying and decided to talk. This girl looked nice. What's your name? He asked. Wendy, darling. She replied. What's your name? Peter Pan. Why are you crying? Wendy asked again. I can't get my shadow to stick on," said Peter. "And anyway, I wasn't crying." Wendy knew what to do. "I'll sew your shadow back on for you," she said. She took a needle and thread from Mrs. Darling's sewing box and sewed Peter's shadow to his feet. There. Peter was very happy, and he danced around the room. Woo hoo! Hee <laughs> hee! Woo hoo! Oh. How clever I am," he said as he continued <laughs> to dance. And you did a little too. So Wendy met Peter Pan, all because Nana was in the garden. <laughs>